94 over McCordick. And now Marshall Holman will tie up with Kelly Kaufman. And there's Kaufman, the big youngster from Topeka, Kansas. Holman will begin. And this is interesting. Remember, in the last match, Marshall had trouble with the pins being off spot for, in his opinion, on lane 63. So in this match, he's Kelly Kaufman, who has a choice of lanes, has let Marshall start on that lane, and that's that's uh, you know the rookie could be making a mistake there. That means Marshall will finish his 10th frame on lane 64. Marshall on 63, opening with a strike. We talked about. <clears throat> the power in the release of this young man now this is your first opportunity to see that and it's amazing ladies and gentlemen this guy can rev it watch this ball almost like it's got a motor on it look at this and he's high he was in the next county with that one jay mm -hmm. quite a story here kelly kaufman was 73rd after the opening round then jumped to fifth then went to third ended up second 28 titles among the five finalists here. Look out. Oh, and he's open right off the bat. 25 years old, 6'2", 240. And here's the finalist by round. You see Kaufman came from 73rd. Benoit from 36. Parker Bone the third was in the driver's seat after the second round. Mashed him down over on 63. I'll tell you, Jay, he has to wear out a bowling ball about every 40, 50 games. The way he revs it up, he just wears that ball and that lane down to nothing. Marshall Holman in a position that he didn't really expect to be in. And let's see if this great champion can take advantage of an opportunity that he has. Uh-oh, second gutter ball of this match, and look at Holman. He has really got to be hot. And I don't understand that. I, I know Marshall Holman's game almost as well as my own, and I've never seen him do this before. He's generally very accurate. He just letting, he's opening his shoulders up, letting the ball go out to the right, and he's not even close. He has to be missing by an arrow, not a board or two, by an arrow to miss that far. Earl, in all the years you and I have been working together, I don't think we've ever seen that happen twice in a match by the same player. No, I'm sure of that, Jay. And there's three. Mm, mm, mm. Disaster. And the crowd just sitting in shock silence here. I don't think this has ever happened in a telecast in 30 years of professional bowling I, that I can remember. And this is one of the great, greatest of all time. I can't, I can't explain this, ladies and gentlemen. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. All-time leading money winner on the PBA Tour has thrown two gutter balls in this match. One in the earlier match when he survived McCordick's problem. There's your, there's your natural, and you can see Marshall's reaction. I knew I was going to do that. He's saying it to himself. He, he pulled that ball to the other side of his target, the way at least three or four boards. Very disappointed and disgusted in himself, I'm sure. Well, I frankly expected him, since he got by that big problem in match two against McCordick, to really light it up here, but now he's fighting at something fierce. Well, you we won't see this very often, folks. Hope 19 you're, in hope, the third frame. Hope they're taping this, maybe, because this is a bit of history you're watching right here. To see Marshall Holman get by and get into match three and then have this happen. Kelly is on the Brooklyn side again. Prize money here, 27,000 first prize, then 14 and 8. McCordick picked up 6,000, Benoit 5,000. And there's a magnificent gift to the winner, that beautiful Balfour ring, specially designed for the American Bowling Congress Classic here, 18 diamonds. Well, I'll tell you another thing, Jay. I don't think this young man, Kelly Kaufman, ever expected to bowl Marshall Holman and see him have 19 in the third frame. <laughs> I never expected it. 
He's up by 30. He's up by 30 and he's got an open. Yep. <laughs> My. And now he's got a split. Well, let's see who wants it the most. I think that's what it's going to end. This could be <laughs> a very unique. It already is unique. It could be even more so. Marshall thinks he's back in the match now, and he definitely is. Kaufman has two opens. We'll be back. How about this? Kelly Kaufman, lane 63. A strike that's two in a row. He struck in the fifth. Marshall Holman comes back into it with strikes in the fourth and fifth. And right now, Holman is down 14. He's back in the match after one of the wildest starts that anyone can ever remember in a PBA match. This is a horror story. I, I just can't believe what's happened to Marshall. Uh, he gets the big break, as you mentioned a couple of times, Jay, when McCordick missed that easy spare to beat him. He comes out starting this match with a, with a strike. He's pulling a rookie, the kid's first time on television, Kelly Kaufman. A chance to really jump on him, put him away, bowl for the title. And he throws back-to-back -back gutter balls. Unbelievable. On a double. Ten pin remains for him. Young man looks a little like the former St. Louis Cardinal quarterback, Jimmy Hart. He's now the athletic director at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. An old buddy of mine. I can't get over how much they look alike. Well, he's big enough to play football. He's about 240 pounds. Yeah. Holman and Kaufman in a match that will be talked about for a long time by folks who follow the PBA Tour. David Ozio won here last year, beat Brian Boss, 236 to 226. Ozio didn't cash here this week. Now Marshall Holman in the seventh frame. in business here. We'll continue with more action from Milwaukee in Brian just Boss, Lisa Wagner, and some amateur think they're going to take my crown from me. Well, I'll tell you right now, that shootout, it's mine. And if they want it, they better come and get me. Frame by frame competition, the prize money escalating $150,000. The shootout, December the 8th. Marshall Holman. Right now, Marshall involved in a most interesting match here with Kelly Kaufman. Holman striking in the seventh and eighth has left the ten pin in the ninth. And the reason it has to be respotted, it did fall down, but it fell down with the help of the machine. You see the mechanic down there knocking all the pins down, the ten pin being spotted, and Marshall will go for the spare. Bad break from Marshall, great break from Kelly Kaufman. Close match. There's a look at it. The lead for Kaufman, 12 pins. You're just joining us. The unbelievable has happened here. In the opening of this match, two gutter balls thrown by Holman. He survived the gutter ball in his match with Pete McCormick, uh, McCordick to win by two. This young man <clears throat> has such wrist length, it's unbelievable. He swings the ball like most any other player, and he looks like any other player going to the foul line. Uh, he's got good fundamentals, but when he gets to the bottom of that release, he actually lays the ball almost on his forearm. Tremendous rotation. This one to lock up the match. Kaufman is going to have a chance to go for the big prize. Look at this wrist. Watch this. Oh, that takes strength. Great strength. 
fellows on the tour call him the Michelin Man. Yeah, but watch your reaction there, Jay. He loved it. And back on 63. Another strike. Well, Holman battled his way back. But One thing about Marshall, and he's been as exciting a player over the years as anybody on the tour along with Mark Roth and Don Johnson and Dick Weber and people of that stature. You can always expect the unusual for Marshall one way or the other and he provided it today Jay. <laughs> Kelly Kaufman a score of 208 to take the victory. Here's another demonstration of Shane.